Hello, my name is Jim Hammond. I, uh, I come from York, I live in Edinburgh. This film, The Edge Stupid, is a fantastic film. It's really important. It's also frightening. It shows that climate change could, could, uh, could really damage the world's population, humans and animals. And uh, it's a plea for action and it's inspiring and it makes us all realise that these things are down to our personal choices every day using more fossil fuels or consuming more products and we can stop and we can change our behaviour, it's that easy, we just need, we just need the will. Um, uh, I'm David Hope Jones from the Scotland-Malawi Partnership and um, just watched The Age of the Stupid. I, I think it's a fantastic film, um, I think it'll make a big difference, I think the plans to distribute the film are extremely, extremely ambitious and I, I think and uh, I really hope that it'll make a big difference in, in Copenhagen. John Riley from Scottish Action on Climate Change and the Carbon Neutral Bigger Project. I thought it was exactly what was required. I've been trying to get funding for Michael, Mike Hutchinson to do a similar film, not realising this had actually been produced, because it, you know, it just shows how desperate the situation is and tells them what the solution is, which is fair shares. And, and we, we have to explain it to people, we have to get it into the media in whatever way we can, so absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, my name's Eva Schoenfeld, I come from um, Transition Scotland Support, um, amongst other things, and I thought it was a fantastic film, I thought it was really moving and um, to the point. Um, is it going to change the world? I think it will help. Okay, uh, I'm Justin from Pedal Portobello Transition Town, uh, involved in trying to help our community stop using oil and start living sustainably in a happy way, in a way that allows us to have kids uh, living on into the future. As far as we can see, a film like this is fantastic and will have a huge impact as long as people don't just get bought off like Make Poverty History did, but actually take the radical action that's needed, which is to insist that we stop this insane system of economic growth, stop capitalism in its tracks right now and become sustainable and fundamentally a happy society rather than miserable addicts to oil. Full stop. Uh, my name is Lorraine McCauley and I work for SEED, which is Scottish Education and Action for Development, running a project that works with communities to tackle climate change. Um, next question, what I thought of the film. Um, yeah, I think the film is brilliant. I just love the way it pulls everything together and I think it's going to be, it's just going to be an amazing tool this year for us to help um, get the movement, you know, pulling together and working together more with a strong focus for Copenhagen um, and will it change the world? There's always hope so let's keep trying and um, I think you know we should really just get everyone into the cinemas now in March and uh, have a good strong campaign and many options for them to uh, choose how to take action uh, straight away to follow up so that we can keep building the momentum. Okay. Uh, my name's Hannah, I'm currently living in Glasgow and yes I do think the film is going to change the world. Um, I kind of left the film feeling um, really quite passionate and inspired and it, it's I think climate change is a huge issue and you're constantly working on it um, but this film kind of like puts you up a level, puts you everything back into perspective and kind of says okay we've really got to do something about this and um, yeah it's great. What's your name? Rose Rickford. Where do you come from here? I live in Edinburgh. Uh, I'm running a project called uh, Environmental Justice Education Collective. And I'm, I'm excited about the Not Stupid campaign. I think it's got a lot of potential to reach a lot of people. Um, I also think it's really important that it's not just focused on Copenhagen. Um, because uh, the idea of just focusing it simply on lobbying certain politicians and like existing global elite um, doesn't kind of deal with the way in which we've got in this mess in the first place, which is to do with like you know unfair power structures and inequality and stuff. So I think it's really important that the, the campaign also focuses on on um, trying to uh, encourage and empower people who are, who are, who can make a difference in their communities. Um, to, to, for example, like we should, uh, it shouldn't just be linking individuals with big organisations. It should also be working to in link individuals with each other so that they can organise together without, you know, getting swallowed up into Friends of the Earth or whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, but I thought the film was great. Thank you very much. Okay, Liz Murray, and I'm the head of campaigns for the World Development Movement in Scotland. Um, I thought it was a fantastic film that 
that really says what needs to be said about climate change, about the effect it's, it's having now and will have on all of us, and the absolute imperative to take action now. It's, we've, we know we've got this, we're, this time limited window to do something in. Let's not let history judge us later on. Let's just get on and do it. Hello, my name's Dan from Plain Stupid Scotland. I thought the film was brilliant and it shows you the guy who started the airline company with aviation being the fastest growing cause of global CO2 emissions told us that we should start recycling our tissue paper. So what it really shows you is that we need to focus on taking planes out of the sky, stopping coal fire power stations, stopping motorways, stopping the big bad bullies and also working with our communities to take action which we have to do now. So expect resistance. Uh, yeah.